Yo guys, what's going on? I am Justin for MLB Baseball Blogs. Breaking news, guys, Gio Gonzalez, newly acquired from the Washington Nationals, has signed a five-year extension with the Washington Nationals. This deal is supposed to be run through 2016. There are two club options for 2017 as and also uh, to the 2018 MLB season. Now, Gio Gonzalez, he was acquired, I think, back in late December, and I think the deal was actually, it could go either way. Now, the Oakland Athletics this year have given up a lot of talented players. They, are, they got rid of Gio Gonzalez, got rid of Trevor Cahill, leaving Dallas Braden, Brett Anderson, the two main pitchers on that pitching rotation for the Oakland Athletics. Now, the Oakland A's are trying to pursue Bartolo Colon, like, a, like the video we made yesterday. So... This A's team, it doesn't look like they're going to be making the playoffs or a deep run you know, to that AL West. Um, the Texas Rangers who are pursuing Prince Fielder right now. And you also have the Angels with their new, new hot look. We got Albert Pujols making his way to the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. And you also got C.J. Wilson, two of the most talented players out there in Major League Baseball. But... This Oakland Athletics team is not most likely will not make the run because they're giving up too much talented players. And um, with the trade that they got from Gio Gonzalez, they do they did get a lot of uh, the Nationals' top ten uh, prospects. They got Brad Peacock, Tom Malone, Derek Norris, who I'm actually a huge fan of Derek Norris because I'm really into that type of prospect type of talk, you should say. And you also got AJ Cole. But I think Gio Gonzalez coming to the Washington Nationals, I think this team, uh, with all their young, talented uh, uh, players, I think this team could make a run for the playoffs in years to come. They're not, they're close, but they got to sign some uh, more power type of bats. They do got a decent pitching, ro uh, pitching rotation, but there are a couple players that just won't connect the dots. Uh, you do got Strasburg, who looks like he's going to be coming back this year. Um, he looks like he's healthy right now, looking to get back into uh, playing. Um, you got Gio Gonzalez, who's going to be the number two. You got Jordan Zimmerman, John Lannon, Ching Ming Wong, and you also got Ross Detweiler. Now, those last three guys, Lannon, Ching Ming Wong, and Ross Detweiler, those guys are very questionable. They don't really seem as that those pitchers are not really like that type of like a playoff. You, you can like hit off those guys like anything. Those guys haven't really had the greatest of season as of late. Ching Ming Wong has been injured, so he's kind of sketchy right now. But I think within the next few years, when the Nationals start trying to pursue more um, talented pro uh, players who are in the free agent market um, in the pitching area, I think this team with all this rookie, ta uh, pro rookie talent, what am I saying, all this young talent, I think this team can possibly make the playoffs within the next few years. But I think with the Gio Gonzalez locking him up for the next five years is a good, good uh, way to keep this team, we keep this pitching rotation intact. So you got the number, you got pretty good number one and number two in starters, but three, four, five, and six, those th other th a couple guys are just questionable right now. But yeah, guys, let me hear your comments on this. Gio Gonzalez has signed a five-year extension with the Washington Nationals. I'll see you guys later, and please, I want to hear your comments on this. I'll see you guys later.